Hey everybody, Dan God of Thunder here with the last update that hi -res is leaking before their big January 8th patch notes show. Uh, uploading this roughly as soon as I can. Uh, it's the downsides of them releasing stuff at 9 a.m. while I'm at work. Anyhow, uh, Bastet was not very popular, wasn't very effective. Her kind of peak was like early to mid game uh, once she had all of her points in Razor Whip, really. So like levels, I would say like 8 to 13 was kind of her peak. Uh, do they think it's perception versus reality? No, it's again not, it's not as bad as Odin, but they fail to understand basic concepts like if no one plays a fucking character, only people really good at it will remain playing it. So, core play style, high damage, high aggression, early game jungler, excuse me, um, not changing pounds or razor whip, good, they're keeping the caps. So, the first is her passive is getting changed. Tracking scent. Bastet marks enemy gods as she damages, causing them to leave a scent trail behind them. Don't ask how that happens uh, by hitting them. I don't know. This trail will show Bastet where, they're, where they are moving, which will also give her a movement speed buff while she is inside the path. This is unique. This is really fucking cool. Um, it makes a lot of sense as a huntress and a cat. Uh, really good. Her fucking old one was she opens up wounds and off of her abilities. And if she hits them with a basic attack off a wound, then she does more damage. Uh, it wasn't really that fun. But pounce is fine. Razor Rips being fine. Uh, throwing dagger was boring as shit, and it's getting reworked. She's now going to target, charge, a uh, single cat that charges, and if it hits, they root, and then they start biting at him. Uh, they take damage, and they start biting. Question's going to be, and this is going to apply to her ultimate as well, how many hits they take to kill. Um, it's actually, I'll just go on. Guard, her, her... Ultimate now is a stim. It spawns two phantom cats to her sides. And now when she leaps, it's in a bigger area because all three, her and her guardians leap. When she whips, all three will whip. And when she fires her three, three cats go out instead of one. Uh, I think that's really cool. I'm going to be really curious about balancing. I think early game, if you're surrounded by three cats and you have no fucking way to get out because you can get boxed in um it's just going to create a lot of really boring matchups without counterplay when you just get caught and you can't hit nine basics because you're in solo and you're by yourself um so we'll see i think this has the potential to be very strong i think this is a really good move for her she's now going to have a real cc so she's not just like jump in, whip them, and get out. And, oh, it's late game, a single tidal wave from Poseidon or a crush from Scylla fucking negates my entire ultimate. <laughs> you know, I have to burn my ultimate and they can counter with a basic ability. You know, Kukul Khan can Zephyr and kill my entire ultimate off. Uh, that's going away, and I think that's good. So we'll see how tanky these cats are. And I think that's going to be a lot of it. Um, I think it's, this is a good change. I also largely like Odin's change, but not quite as much. Most because I really like this. Um, they can tweak numbers. They can fix balance and they can balance numbers. They have to rework boring shit. And they got rid of the boring, inherently unfun shit out of Bastet's kit. And if they've got to nerf some of these numbers... They can do that. So overall, these previews have been a mixed bag. Kind of a... I don't like the Magic Pen changes. I like Odin. I love the Bastet changes. I'm kind of mildly optimistic on the Conquest change, but I don't trust them to get that right. So there you have it. I think the next video on patch note stuff is going to be the big 7.1 drop. I will try to put that video at under an hour, but no guarantees. 
So uh, I think it's, what is the direct direction is it going to be? I think it's this way over on this side is going to be the uh, subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit the bell notification as well. I think it showed like 90% of people that watch my channel are not subscribed. So uh, if you would hit that little ninja avatar, I'd appreciate it. Um, on top of me and above my head are going to be other videos for you to watch as well. I'm starting to learn this whole goddamn fucking YouTube thing. Aren't you proud of me, Mom? Thank you. Take care, guys. I'll catch y'all later.